Well, hello folks, and I hope you're all still keeping well out there. Sorry you haven't heard much from me as last while, but I've sort of been busy between work and as last few weekends I've been heading out with the shotgun, which is unusual for me after wood pigeons over barley and jackdaws at a dairy, and hopefully you'll see that footage on my other channel sometime, Nitro HV. But at the minute, I'm sitting at home, enjoying my holidays, which I have been looking forward to getting, only for it to be absolutely lashing outside. Oh, for those of you outside Northern Ireland, that means it's raining heavily. So, since I can't get outside, I might as well sit down at the computer and try and get through some of this editing, so you all have something to watch. Now, I'm sure it'll not take too long for people to realise this is a younger version of myself, as this was filmed back in 2017. What a difference six years can make to a man. For one thing, that nice warm jumper's long gone, as the wife made me throw it out, cause it was getting as thin as my hairline. Also, I still had my old Theoban MFR and 22 calibre running 21 gram Bisley Magnum pellets at about 860 feet per second if I mind right. And you'll quickly notice that this is before I had the Tacticam and the FTS unit to film through the scope. It's all old school baby. Filming through a camcorder sitting in the hide beside me which I had to zoom in and out before each shot as well as a little action camera set down beside the bait. Old school baby! Who do you think you are, hey? Wished you. We're trying to be professional here. <coughs> now, as usual, I've set out a decoy bird, which is a magpie this time, as I didn't have any hooded crows, and I'm using a dead rabbit for bait. Yeah, you're whipping it about there like Indiana Jones, hey? Quiet, you. I'll put you back in your box. Oh, no. I mean it. Okay. <coughs> um, now, this farm here usually keeps a few head of sheep, not as many as uh, a lot of other farms I've shot over, but they're still valuable livestock. So I'm going to try and go for some hooded crows this morning, as there are quite a few about the place, and any magpies that appear might be a decent bonus as well. Now remember why I started wearing the snood instead of the head veil. The head veil's a wee bit footery, but it's good during the summer, especially when there's biting flies about. But since this was in January, I think I would have preferred wearing the snood, more comfortable and warmer. And the rifle I was using? Well, it's in the title, isn't it? It's my old Theoban MFR that I traded in some years ago for the FX Crown. I, I do miss it now and again, the action was really nice on it, but the Crown has a far nicer trigger and a far nicer stock, plus it's got more power. In saying that though, I was quite happy with the power that the Open had, and you'll see it was quite effective too. Now I've been sitting for a wee while, listening to the distant calls of hooded crows and ravens, when something came pretty low overhead all of a sudden. It sounded pretty big, so it might have been a raven. What really matters though is, what is about to drop into the bait point? Even with all the raven activity above me, a hooded crow's finally dropped into the rabbit. And at 40 yards, the little 21 gram Bisley Magnum pellet does the job. Oh. 
Now, I give it a wee while, but none of the other crows in the area seemed to be taking any notice of the fact that I just knocked off one of their bodies. So, I walked out calmly and lifted the bird, bringing it back to the hide under my coat so it wouldn't be seen. This tactic seemed to be working, as the other crows in the area were now taking an interest in the dead rabbit and the decoy. But they were being very cautious yet, and quite reluctant to stay on the ground for any length of time for some reason. That's cause I saw your big feet, hey! What? Nothing? But patience finally paid off when this bird strayed a little too close to the bait for its own well-being. And the MFR and Bisley Magnum pellets strikes again. This, as you can hear, seemed to get the rest of the crows in the area into a wee bit of a tizzy. Not half. Sounded like a Dalek going downhill with no brakes, hey? Goodness, sounds like the ravens and a couple of buzzards have joined the party. Party? Did somebody say party? Not that sort of party. Oh. Well, it doesn't look like the crows are going to get any closer than that again today. However, it looks like we've got another visitor, a magpie this time, who seems to be trying to whisper sweet nothings to my decoy. He's trying to chat her up, hey! Oh, she must have told him to go- Ah, 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 no, no swearing, please! Uh, fog off! Now, I was hoping that the sight of the magpies at the bait would bring the hooded crows back down again, but no, not a bit of it. So, I decided a bird in hands worth two at the bar! No, no. Two on the dance floor! No, that's not what I was going for. Two at the chippy! No, no, the bush! What bush? So they're on the ground, you balloon, you! The shot was good, but the bird still managed to run just by the action camera before it dropped dead. Things went fairly quiet after that, so I decided to head out during this snow shower and 
change things about a wee bit to see if I can encourage another bird down and get another opportunity before the cold finally got the better of me. So I changed the magpie decoy I had sitting out for one of the hooded crows that I'd shot, hoping that that might pique the crow's interest once more. As the hooded crows are my main target out here, and the magpies are just a bonus. Well, as you can see, the snow's almost all but gone and the sky started to brighten again, when a bird finally lands, but it's not a crow, it's another magpie. So much for plan B, but saying that, there's nothing wrong with a bonus magpie. Again, the magpie done another runner just by the action camera, which I think had run out of battery by this stage, and dropped dead. After that, the cold finally got the better of me, so I called it a day. Still a wee bit annoyed. But anyway, set up worked well. Dead rabbit as usual. That's the hooded crow. The second one I shot set up in the cradle. To try and get me another shot, and even after a very long wait, I got that magpie, which ran about five yards and bumbled over after a shot to the heart but the rest of the birds are laying down in the hide and I'll gather them up in a minute but so far it worked out quite well even though it's cold, snowy and I'm entertaining going home right now once I get my gear all packed up Well folks, I hope you've enjoyed that little trip down memory lane and the wee bit of silliness with it and hopefully I'll get some newer footage through the holidays if the weather plays ball. But until then, take care and look after yourselves, you boy. <laughs>